Now, as far as I'm aware, you can see us. There we go. Oh, goodness gracious, we're about to be bombed. <laughs> that must have been a wonderful shot. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> That's great. Anyway, um, the reason we of course needed the drone here is because, well, we can show you how bright it is and we can also show you how, well, how dry it is and how the f it seems to me that I, this, is, this dam is going to dry out unless we get quite a lot more rain. And we built this great big wall here because the deluge was supposed to come and fill up our dam and well it just hasn't and I don't know what I mean it's not it, not very picturesque spot at the moment and hopefully it will become that again when we get a bit more rain we've had a little bit of waterbuck action they've gone off there one or two kingfishers having a bath a uh, lapsmith lapsmith blackwing a blacksmith lapwing <laughs> And then we had a three-banded plover as well, but not much else, one or two terrapins. Now, what I would like, if you're looking, if you're still in the air, which I think you are, I wonder if it would be possible for Connor to take you on a trip down the drainage line that extends off to the west. So down towards Nyala Road south, and just follow the drainage line with him as it goes towards the south. Are we able to do that? Right, so you're directly above the pan now and it would be quite nice just to follow the line of the drainage. And you can see probably the drainage on the right hand side of your picture there. And that goes away from the dam wall and then it bends down towards the south. I think you'd probably have to get quite low over it. In fact we, have, we must try this. I haven't tried this with Connor before but if you get low down over the drainage line you can probably follow its path. There you can see the path and this eventually flows into the Umluamati drainage, our main drainage system around about the junction of Nyala Road north and south. Which is quite fun, don't you think? And there are a number of these little drainage systems that sort of Pep, I just said pepper the landscape. They don't pepper the landscape at all. They, um, what do they do? They snake through the landscape here. And some of them have been dammed, like this one, and the one that feeds into Juma Dam. And you can see that that is what the catchment is. That's where, I mean, that's where the water flows, and that's how they fill up these dams. But I think at one stage of this landscape's history, there must, must have been a lot more water flowing down these rivers because I don't see how there could be so many of them if there wasn't a lot more rain at one stage of this great landscape's existence. Isn't that wonderful? Now that's why we love the drone so much. It just gives a perspective of things that it's impossible to get from ground level. And for me, I mean, look, it's great to watch animals from above and all of that sort of thing. But to get a picture of where everything is and how the landscape moves and how the vegetation changes and how the drainage lines wind their way down towards the bigger river systems, I just think is great. Righty, 